Alright, hello everyone. This is the last tutorial in the series on how to make a top down shooter in Game Maker Studio 2. So, today I'm just adding better sprites and I'm going to be talking about a dynamic blood effect you can add into your game. Um, so, basically, uh, instead of the player, I'm going to go ahead and import an image. We have to monitor the size on this, it's 72 by 48. That means we're going to have to update a few things. So, I'm going to go my drive. And this is a free uh, sprite that you can get online on opengameart.org or something like that. Uh, I can leave a link in the description for you. So this is 72. I'm going to downscale this to like 120. Make sure the interpolation is linear. Adjust that. And apply. And now we can go into edit image. Go to image and auto trim all frames and it'll kind of snap that to the grid for us and we just bring down that center to about middle of the gun right about there cool so that's the size of our player the enemy we're gonna import um, I know I have artwork some here, somewhere for it. Ah, here we are. We're gonna have the marine. And we can downscale this to 100. Apply. And there we go. We can just center that around the gun too. Like right about there. Cool. X out of that. Now we just got to update um, a few things in our script. Player fire. This should be that should be about the same. And then in the enemy attack, that should be. We're gonna try 74. All right. Let's go ahead and test that. That is very large. Automatic pistol, heck yeah. Alright, yeah, we definitely need to downscale the player. Make him probably 84. Let's try it again. It's a little bit better. You can probably even downscale him more. I think we're going to do that. Let's go with 80. And we'll try it one last time. There we go. Now he's a good size. Now we're going to get rid of that annoying ring effect around the enemy and we're going to add some blood. So we need a sprite. This is just a really simple sprite. SPR blood. And if we just make this 32 by 32. If we go to effects, blur, apply, then we have to center that, some middle center, and we can X out of that. Now, there's a few things for objects that we have to create. Um, we have to create a blood controller. So, oops, sorry about that. 
it's my source code for us. So we have to create a surface in this object. Oh my god. One reason why I really don't like Studio 2. There we go. Create object. Object. A blood. Controller. Now we go to create event and we type in uh, for description create surface so uh, we can do blood surf equals surface create and then we're gonna do room width and room height this isn't really a performance effective way of doing this but it'll work so basically we're setting this variable to hold a surface and this surface is kind of like a layer if you ever worked in Photoshop or even the room editor on Game Maker there's a background layer which is below everything and then an instance layer which is where you put your objects so it's kinda of like a clear palette we can draw stuff to that's all we need in there uh... no wait it's not uh... we need to free this uh, surface whenever we leave the room or anything so if we go to other and then room end we need to oh my god free surface so we just say surface free and then blood surf is the name of our surface then we can duplicate that to uh, other and then game end. There we go. Now in the draw event, we're going to draw the surface. And in here, we're going to see if the surface exists, and if it doesn't, we're just going to create it again. So we need to check if it exists already, so we're going to say if surface exists blood surf then we're gonna say draw surf so we're just gonna draw this surface and blood surf and x would be zero y would be zero because we're drawing that at the start of the room and we're gonna say else and we can X out of this go to create copy this code here oops nope this entire line sorry go to draw again and just paste that right where we were typing and there we go alright so now we need to create the actual blood itself so there's a few variables we need to set up for that and everything so we're going to create object obj blood. You can call this like blood particle or whatever, it doesn't matter. Add event create and these are blood variables. And we're going to say image x scale, which is, is just the x scaling of the image equals random range. And the random range function function chooses your first value to your last value and picks something in between those including the numbers you input. I'm just going to say uh, 0 0.8 and 1.2 so you can go downscale or upscale and then we're gonna say image y scale equals image x scale so we get the same value um, for both so it's not like an oval it's, it'll be a perfect circle every time now these are movement variables we're gonna say move dir which is the direction we are moving in which is random 360 so we're moving in a random direction and then uh, move speed is going to equal random range between we're going to do 32 and 54 that's a very high speed uh, a higher number is farther the farther it goes it means the higher values have inputted and the lower it's uh, closer to the object creating the blood now we just set a friction we're not using the default variable we are not using this built-in variable. We are going to say frick equals uh, random range 
between our move speed divided by 12 and our move speed divided by 4. So this is how long the blood will last, uh, how far it will slide, kind of. And then size change equals random range uh, image x scale divided by 10 and image x scale divided by 2. And that kind of just sets uh, our uh, the variable kind of says it all the change in size from whenever it's moving we want it to get smaller the farther out it goes now we need to make it actually move so we're going to do a step event blood move we're going to say uh, image x scale minus equals and then size change because we want to get smaller the uh, farther it goes out and step is us moving out so then we're going to say image y scale equals image x scale to keep that perfect circle shape now we need to fade the blood so we're going to say if uh, if we are moving so move speed greater than zero then we need to do this and we're going to say image alpha minus equals random range between uh, 0 0.005 so or 0 0.05 so slowing fading very slow to fading very fast at 0 0.1 uh, you won't see it fade uh, except whenever it gets towards the end of where it's moving um, but because we're drawing it to a surface, the surface is kind of permanent unless you free it. So you won't really see this too much. Now we're going to slow the blood down uh, to a complete stop. So we're going to say move speed equals choose and then move speed, so our current speed, zero for friction. And now we need to just draw the blood to the surface. and you can do this in step event or draw event, doesn't really matter. So we're going to say if instance exists obj blood controller we're going to say surface set target so we need to make sure we're drawing to that surface so we're setting the surface target which is obj blood controller dot blood surf and now we need to draw the sprite to the surface so draw sprite uh, ext then we're gonna say spr blood uh, 0 x y image x scale image y scale image angle which is should be zero uh, C white and image alpha since we are fading and there we go now we just need to reset the target so surface reset target so now if we draw a sprite again in a different object we aren't drawing to the surface and now we need to just destroy the blood once it's fin thinned out and you won't see this because we're drawing it to the surface so uh, this is just destroy we're gonna say if image x scale is less than or equal to zero instance destroy we're just gonna destroy that blood cool and the last thing is our end step this is where we actually move the blood I know that was all just preparation so this is end step uh, finally move blood and we're just gonna say x plus equals length dir x and we're gonna say move speed and move dir and we can just copy that line of code paste it right below say y 
plus equals length dir y in the same direction and speed. And there we go. Now to create this, uh, it's not too difficult. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to the enemy, collision with the bullet. Uh, instead of this, we're going to create blood. So, create blood. We're going to say, uh, we're going to kind of do a for loop, I guess. We don't really have to. But we're going to say var count equals random range. You can create a script for this too. Just set up some arguments. 12 and 32. And then we're going to say. Just instance create. Hopefully this works. Layer, and then we're gonna do uh, x, y, and then why did I even have count? I thought it's not even changing it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a for loop here. So if we go for var i equals zero. I is less than count. I plus plus. And then in here we're going to say instance create layer. And then we're going to do XY. Layer is just layer. Object name is OBJ blood. Cool. So that should work. If we go ahead and run this, hmm. It's not drawing. I have no idea why that's not working. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the blood again. Oh! We didn't have blood controller in the room. Silly me. Silly me. Alright. So we can go ahead and drag in blood controller. Now if we run it, we should see some blood. Play. There we go. Now, unfortunately, that's not below the character. So we just need to set the depth of the blood. Depth equals neg, uh, just do 100. And that should change it. I don't even know how to change that. Uh, I forget all about that. But yeah, that's basically uh, how you can achieve that. 
In Game Maker Studio 2, we just added better sprites. You can feel free to add your own sprites and everything. I will have this example project in the description of every single video. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you actually paid attention to the code and just didn't fly through everything and copy and paste. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for sticking through this whole thing. And I'll see you in some of my other videos.